when you start getting in certain areas, they're not going to actually be compassionate for what's going on with him or because he's not, he's not crazy where he doesn't know what he's saying. He knows exactly what he's saying. Britney Spears has recently taken the world by storm, unveiling a plethora of revelations that have left many reeling. Picture this. Britney, finally breaking her silence, shines a piercing light on the murky connections between Kim Kardashian, the Kardashians, and the notorious Diddy. But let's rewind a bit. Remember the tumultuous conservatorship debacle orchestrated by Lou Taylor? Well, it seems there's a Britney Spears connection in the ongoing Diddy lawsuit. Some of the individuals implicated were also tangled up in Britney Spears' own conservatorship drama, and now they're facing the consequences alongside Diddy. It turns out Lou Taylor had direct ties to Diddy behind the scenes. And who was lurking in the shadows? None other than the Kardashians. But hold on tight because there's more to this unfolding saga. Britney isn't merely content with exposing their connections. She's leveling accusations against the Kardashians, alleging they've actively sought to sabotage her career, her family life, essentially everything she holds dear. Talk about a bombshell revelation. Britney isn't mincing words. She's demanding legal action against the Kardashians, asserting they're no different from Diddy himself. It's about to get seriously messy in Hollywood. Allegations have surfaced regarding Kim Kardashian's ties to Diddy, and amidst the chaos, the Jenner family has chosen silence. But here's the kicker. Kim quietly unfollowed Diddy's Instagram account just 24 hours before Homeland Security made a rather unexpected visit last month. Coincidence? Perhaps. But speculation is rampant that someone may have tipped off Kim prompting her to distance herself from Diddy before things escalated. Numerous suspects are being tossed into the mix, including Lou Taylor, Britney Spears' former business manager, who reportedly played a role in orchestrating her conservatorship. Even Kris Jenner's partner, Corey Gamble, finds himself under scrutiny. And speaking of Corey, brace yourself for some unsettling allegations, linking him to the tragic passing of Diddy's ex, Kim Porter. Remember when Kanye West hinted at Corey's CIA connections? There's certainly a lot to unpack here, so let's dive right in. The ongoing Diddy saga has sent shockwaves reverberating through the entire entertainment industry, with each passing day revealing a new A-lister seemingly entangled in Diddy's alleged RICO enterprise. While Kim Kardashian's status as an A-lister may be debated, one thing remains crystal clear her family's close connections to Diddy and his rumored associates. Two pivotal figures linking Diddy to the Kardashians demand our undivided attention. Low Taylor and Corey Gamble. Taylor, Britney Spears' former business manager, faced damning accusations regarding her involvement in Britney's contentious conservatorship, allegedly pocketing millions from Britney's estate. In her memoir, Britney's mother, Lynn, affirmed that it was Lou who initially suggested the concept of a conservatorship to Britney's father, Jimmy, shortly after Britney's involuntary 5150 psychiatric hold in 2008. As January 22nd approached, according to Lynn's tell-all, Lou and Britney's father felt God was guiding them to wait as quiet plans had been underway for six weeks for Jamie to petition the court for temporary conservatorship of Britney. However, it seemed like an impossible dream at that point with Sam still entrenched in her life. In fact, Jamie was going to file for the conservatorship on January 22nd, eight days beforehand, but he and his business manager Lou felt it necessary to wait, fast, and pray despite the frustration of the falling of lawyers. This revelation casts a shadow over the alleged manipulation surrounding Britney's conservatorship, implicating not only Lou Taylor, but also those closely associated with her. Given Lou Taylor's tarnished reputation, it's hardly surprising that the Kardashians welcomed her into their inner circle. Remember Kanye's very public crisis in 2020 when he sought refuge in Wyoming, alleging that Kim and Chris were plotting to have him institutionalized? Well, it appears those allegations may have had some grounding. Rumor has it Kim and Chris contemplated placing Kanye under conservatorship reportedly enlisting Lou Taylor's assistance in the process. However, they purportedly abandoned the scheme once Kanye began publicly airing their intentions. This raises questions about the extent of the influence wielded by individuals like Lou Taylor and the Kardashians in the entertainment industry. 
particularly when it comes to the lives and careers of high-profile figures like Britney Spears and Kanye West. You might be wondering, what does all this have to do with Diddy? Well, Lo and Diddy go way back, reportedly crossing paths in the 90s when they both worked with Uptown Records. Recently, disturbing rumors have surfaced, suggesting Lou reached out to Diddy, tasking him with supplying Britney Spears with substances prior to her infamous 2007 VMA performance mere months before Britney was placed under conservatorship. The night before the VMAs, Britney Spears purportedly partied with Diddy in Las Vegas. Rumors suggest Diddy provided Britney with spiked drinks that ultimately contributed to her disastrous VMA performance the following day. It's important to note that Britney's actions and state during that time were highly scrutinized, and the role of those around her, including Diddy, has come into question. This incident sheds light on the dark underbelly of the entertainment industry, exposing the potential exploitation and manipulation faced by vulnerable individuals even at the hands of those they trust. Robin Greenhill reportedly played an active role in assisting Britney's father and monitoring her during the conservatorship. According to Britney's former security, Alex Vlasov, Robin Greenhill suggested setting up an iPad loaded with Britney's iCloud account so it could mirror all her activity. But if you thought this revelation was shocking, just wait until you hear about Jenner's wide-hipped boy toy, Corey Gamble, and his connections with Diddy. Corey's association with Diddy extends beyond mere social ties, delving into potentially more sinister territory. The extent of his involvement in Diddy's affairs as well as his alleged role in events surrounding Kim Porter's passing, raises troubling questions about the depth of his connections and the influence he may wield behind the scenes. Remember when Kanye expressed concerns about the individual surrounding his family? Rumor has it he was referring to Corey. But this wasn't the first time Kanye voiced unease about Corey. As far back as 2019, he attempted to caution Kim about Corey and questioned why none of the Kardashians had met Corey's family. Then, in the summer of 2020, amidst claims that Chris and Kim were attempting to have him institutionalized, Kanye once again called out Corey, expressing his disapproval of Corey being around his children. The accusations against Corey not only shed light on the intricacies of relationships within the Kardashian-Jenner inner circle, but also prompt inquiries into the motives and intentions of those near the family. With Diddy now under official investigation by Homeland Security, Chris and Kim are reportedly in panic mode over their association with him. Rumors suggest Chris has mobilized her PR crisis team to erase any traces of her connection to Diddy. They're allegedly working tirelessly behind the scenes to eliminate any paper trails that might implicate Kim in shady financial dealings facilitated by Lou Taylor and Robin Greenhill. However, with reports surfacing of none other than Diddy's arch nemesis, 50 Cent, allegedly planning to expose the Kardashians in his upcoming documentary, PR Damage Control Efforts, might prove futile. The prospect of being implicated in Diddy's alleged illicit activities poses a significant threat to the carefully curated image of the Kardashian-Jenner family, raising questions about the extent to which they may have been involved in or aware of such dealings. Fans are already questioning the Kardashians' connections to these questionable individuals, who also had ties to Diddy. Some find humor in Kim on following Diddy amidst the turmoil, while others emphasize the mounting evidence at hand. The burning question remains. Is there sufficient evidence to suggest the Kardashians were embroiled in Diddy's illicit business dealings? And what are your thoughts on Lou Taylor and Corey Gamble's close associations with both Diddy and the Kardashians? Share your opinions in the comments below and subscribe to our channel and turn on notification bell and stay tuned for the next installment of this unfolding saga.